The green forest of Dawn Kingdom is home to dangerous natural pitfalls of thousands of insects. The plants only need a little testing to take their lives. And in particular, all the animals that have never been tamed the most brutally are concentrated in... Ali, stop! But no one knows that the owner of this forest is also a bully, a very beautiful human girl. <sighs> How many times have I told you? It's hard for people to show up. Don't scare them. Hmm. Come on, take responsibility for what you've done to be a good kid. You know, I was the same child that was brought by the wolf god. Since her birth, Aboli had been left by her parents outside the edge of the forest, being cared for and taught by the huh? wolf god. <laughs> As if she was a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf teaches Aboli the human language, tells her about her fellow hmm. humans, hoping that one day she can find her source. After his death, he passed on his status as the owner of the green forest to Aboli through the valuable horn. She gets it and she gets control of the spirit of the forest. Aboli, there's only one thing. Remember, Never let a wild animal fight, harm the royal family. By the grace of the former king, I have left the curse that whoever uses the power of the force to harm the royal family will be properly punished. Therefore, I must do the same good things to deserve the position of leader. Saying she did, Aboli mm -hmm. brought the boy back to look after him. Huh? They two spent a beautiful, joyful time together while he healed his wounds. <laughs> a bully taught him how to survive, made him gradually integrate into the wild. On the contrary, he also taught a bully how to calculate. Write letters, tell stories about urban areas and luxury cities. Through his story, Aboli gradually intrigued, dreaming about the mysterious land where there were people like her. The time is limited. The young man needs to return home. Come on, don't cry. I'll definitely come back. When hmm? you've solved the math I left you, I'll come back and bring you a big gift. Although she did not understand that it was love, she still knew her longing and anticipation for him hmm. very much. Is it too, Ali? Yes, well, I must reward you. <laughs> when he came back, it turned out that the young man was Aiden, Prince of Dawn. He wanted to bring a bully back to civilized life, away from the old forest where she grew up. I like you very much, but this forest needs me. I can't leave. Since the death of the wolf, the hunters have appeared. The wild beasts have been murdered. Bully, become my wife. You can still protect the jungle with a no-hunt agreement. Receiving the promise that her people hmm. would be safe, a bully also loved the prince and wanted <laughs> to learn about the life he was born with. <laughs> So she agreed with the prince to leave. Mm. Unlike Prince <gasps> Aiden, everyone in the royal family mm. doesn't recognize the girl's mm. true self. They made a bully change, become like them. From eating, standing, basic behavior, to very cumbersome rituals. Unable to fit in, a bully was extremely sad, miserable. She even tried to hide her being bullied and treated unfairly by the queen and the princesses so that the prince would not be disturbed. Bully, I want to tell you something. Well, uh, 
Uh, you tell me. It's just dust in my eyes. Hmm. There's something I've hidden from you. In fact, my father wanted me to marry the princess of a neighboring country to reinforce the military. The promise of protection of the Evergreen Forest was because he thought you have unparalleled power. I know. People don't like me. Aiden, will you leave me to marry someone else? No, of course not. There's actually still a way. Just... <laughs> Just what? Just tell me! Robbery rages. The prince who is capable of rebellion will receive a favor from the king. If I can afford to do that, then we can definitely be together. It's just a pity I'm not the queen's own son. No backing, military power, it's hard to get that favor. Witnessing the lover in bad mood, Aboli thought that sooner or later everything she had would belong to him. She gave the prince the worn necklace, which could move the wild animals to become an invisible army. On the day of the destruction, the princess carried empty trumpets. The soldiers held their hands, and Prince Aiden was laughed at because he was alone. Hey, my brother! Where's your guardian? If I were you, how could I ride a horse and walk around and destroy the rooster in the house and say nothing of the robbers? <laughs> the mockery abounds on the face of Prince William as he watches the mighty herd of forest animals that Aiden has sunk. In the midst of the chaos, Aiden, instead of taking away the bandits, ordered an army to attack the rest of the princess. Then the army came to the palace to force the king to depose the queen who had murdered Aiden's <gasps> mother. She was the one who hurt him and led him astray uh, in the woods. Uh, <laughs> no, Ali, stop! Aiden, do not use the power of the forest for bad! Give up your hatred, please! <laughs> bad thing? Isn't she the bad one? My mother didn't have any fault for being so abused by her. Is it a crime to be of inferior origin? Do you know how painful it is to watch your dearest disappear in front of you, Aboli? I can't forget my dreams. <gasps> a little more, just a little more, and after ten years, we'll finally be able to sleep. Aiden could not see the danger from behind, as William coldly climbed up the rope, pointing the arrow at him. Aboli just pushed Aiden out, and she was hurt. William ruthlessly came forward, picked up the horn out of a corner. He wanted to use the prison and control the wild animals, forcing his father to give him the throne. Aboli! Open your eyes to me. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. Thank you. Open your eyes. Don't sleep. Don't cry, Aiden. It's good that you're not hurt. Don't, don't take revenge. Revenge, you can't be happy either. You're right. I was blind. My hatred has hurt you. The one I love most right now. Don't abandon me. As long as you're okay, I promise I'll let it all go. Shall we go back to the forest? Okay? Okay, I'll try. Before that, please destroy the horn <gasps> and free the wild animals so that they are not taken advantage of by bad guy. Agreed with Aboli's request, Aiden wiped his tears, drew his sword forward forcefully. William blew the horn and immediately the wolf Ali darting to the door, growled as if he wanted to devour his master's rival alive. The green forest is home. Forest animals are friends. Infinite love. Forever not far away from. The wolf recognized the familiar voice. His footsteps slow. You stupid animal! Listen to me! Destroy them! I am your master! The wolf rushed up, but instead it threw William to the ground. Brother, hey, hurry up and do something. T -t -t Tell them to stop. Oh, brother. I'm sorry I can't do anything. Ali itself wants it. The horn then broke. From then on, the animals of the forest will completely control their own lives. <gasps> 
Witnessing his own plan was ruined, William got mad and then decided to punish the saboteur. Bring me with you. After a bullet's whistle, a giant eagle appeared and caught them too, then flew towards the jungle, left behind all dissatisfied screams of Prince William. The animals got rid of the horn, but they still remembered a bully as their <laughs> close friend. They tried all the best herb to huh? cure the friendly master. <sighs> Thanks God, you're awake! Followed the promise. Aiden <laughs> left behind his wrath and hatred. He then lived together with nature way happily. About the Queen and Prince William, they were punished for their treason behavior and crimes they ever did in the past. After conversing with the Egyptian Queen, Sabrina and Alex bid her farewell to return to their world. <laughs> <laughs> I got you! Stella! Haven't got my strongest hit, but you are still so noisy! Quickly give me the soul stone now, or I will- Ah! Hey! Don't harm Sabrina! <laughs> ah! I will take revenge! You had better stay away from us! Uh, help me! Sabrina! <laughs> Sabrina, are you okay? Hey! T -t Tiger? All of them was dropped over there. What should I do now? Do not be afraid. Stay away. Don't harm them. Give her some water. Hmm? Thanks for your help. Sabrina, you're awake. Are you okay? He was the one who saved us. I'm okay. Thanks. <laughs> Why is he in the woods? I am. So your daughter, Belle, has been imprisoned in the castle by a monster? That's right, but I can't leave Belle there. I have to save Belle. So that is... In return for your hmm? help, we will do our best to rescue Belle. <laughs> but that monster is very scary. If you two follow me, you'll get hurt. It's okay. We're very strong. The monster will be defeated easily. Look! You two know magic? Then we have the power to defeat the monster and save Belle. <laughs> and we just arrived. Sabrina, the castle looks scary. Don't know where the monster is. Do you have any way to get inside without being detected by the monster? Hmm. I feel that place has the least human presence. Let's go up that way. Hmm. This rose gives off a very strange light. Hmm. Alex, don't touch it. We didn't know what it was. Ooh. Hmm? <gasps> What's going on? This thing doesn't need Sabrina's power, but it still has life. There's an intruder! Attack them quickly! Quickly hide in that corner! We will fight the monster! No! Everyone stops! Belle! 
here you are! Luckily, you're still fine. They're helping us defeat the monster. Hurry up and hide! <gasps> no! I have to save him! Let me go, Dad! Belle? What's wrong with you? Belle! Monster, you are lost! Take my ceiling magic! <gasps> Belle! <gasps> no! When the rose was hit by Sabrina's spell, everything in the entire castle was turned to stone. <gasps> oh no! Please wake up! Please don't leave me! Are you alright? Why? Why did you help the monster? <laughs> Although he is such a scary, hot-tempered monster, <laughs> actually, he has changed. He and the magical items here have been taking care of me all this time. <laughs> Just now, feeling the castle shaking, he thought there was a bad person, so he attacked. But that's only because he wants to protect the magical rose, not intentionally harm you guys. So please save him. I didn't know he was so nice to you. This... Okay, to correct the misunderstanding, I will help you. Hmm. What's wrong, Sabrina? <laughs> Lightning around the rose? Maybe just now? The soul stone was affected by Stella's magic, so it exerts the darkness power to revive the flower and everything here. I'm gradually remembering everything. <laughs> I'll try. That's right! Fight against the power! Ah! Uh, let go of Bell! <laughs> what are you doing? Release me! If you let her destroy me, you will lose your life, too! I'm not afraid. I will do anything for Belle. Don't wait anymore. Take it down quickly. Let's mm. save Belle and the others. We can't. I'm sorry, Belle. I had to do it to save all of us. I couldn't save him, but in fact, he sacrificed himself to save us. It's all my fault. I thought he harmed you, so I asked them to help defeat the monster. Unexpectedly, he was such a good person. That's right. He's so good. That's why <laughs> I've always loved him. And thanks to the confession, a fairy appeared and broke the curse for the castle. Thank you for bringing me back to life. It was thanks to love and sacrifice of everyone that made you turn back to human. Hurry up to be with Belle. <laughs> <laughs> I unleash the rest of the dark magic on the stone. Your stone has a great magic. Keep it carefully. Don't let it fall into the wrong hands and use it for dark magic. 
Thank you very much. I'll keep it carefully. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. If we have free time, we will come here. Always welcome you here. Let's go home. <laughs> There was a beautiful and poor girl named Esther, who lived alone in a small house. And Roman, a young man who lived in that village, often came to help Esther. They are very close. Hmm. Esther, huh? what is your ideal lover? My lover? It must be a prince. <laughs> oh, good girl, you could marry a prince. I give you this perfume with a scent that fascinates men. Use it when you get the chance. But remember, mm. the scent only works until midnight that night. Great. Thank you. That's how it is. Roman, I'm sure I'll have a beautiful love and marry a prince. Then, let me. Our Prince Jacob is holding a grand ball at the palace. You can join if you want. <laughs> I also want to attend the prince's ball. If he likes me, I can become a noble prince's wife. My chance has come. I also want to attend the grand ball. Maybe the prophecy will come true. But you don't even meet the prince, and you don't know what kind of person he is. He will be kind as I imagined. With the wondrous scent that the prophetess gave me, the prince will be mine. However, I don't have any fancy dresses yet. What should I do, Roman? <gasps> she was too obsessed with that desire. All right, to please her, I'll use my savings to give her a party dress. Did you really give it to me, Roman? Ooh. Great! Huh? So I can attend Prince huh? Jacob's ball. Is it beautiful? Do you think the prince will like me? <laughs> Thank you, Roman. The dress is beautiful. Thanks for your help. If my wish comes true, I will never forget you. Huh? Why do I feel something strange? It's very annoying and frustrating. Like I'm about to lose something. Another strong opponent. I will play tricks to humiliate her. You joining? Hmm. Oh no! You, what are you doing? Oh sorry. <laughs> it's just an accident. But if you still get in my way, that's not the end. Hmm. The prince is ours. <laughs> I didn't expect the elite to be full of tricks and competitions like this. So scary. Huh? Hmm? This strange girl, although her clothes are dirty, she has a very hmm? attractive scent. Who is she? Hello, I'm huh? Prince Jacob. May I have the honor of asking you to dance, beauty? Am I dreaming? Prince Jacob hmm. has invited me to dance. Oh my god. I am very pleased, hmm. Prince. <laughs> hmm. You are so beautiful, and your scent is so alluring. I think I already have a crush on you. Can you tell me your name? Prince Jacob? My name is S. Prince! I am the Esmeralda of the... And I am... <laughs> The Lady Killer Prince gradually got swept up in the beautiful girls around him, forgetting that Esther was pushed further and further by the crowd. <sighs> Prince Jacob, you're really a Lady Killer and heartless. You don't pay any attention to me anymore. So different from what I expected. It is almost midnight. According to the prophecy, the enchanting scent is about to disappear. My only advantage is gone. I have to get out of here. Ha ha ha!
The girl with the attractive scent. Hmm? Where did she go? Huh? Have you seen a girl with a very attractive scent over here? Where did she go? Your Highness, she's already out of here. Inadvertently, she left this shoe. Huh? The girl has an enchanting scent. I will definitely find you. Roman, I'm sorry. Huh? I ruined the dress you gave me. Yet, I have achieved nothing. It's okay, Esther. Don't be sad. Good things will come to you. Mm. Prince Jacob is looking for a girl who can fit the shoe he is holding. That girl will have a chance to become the prince's wife. Roman, that's the shoe I lost last night. Mm. Should I come out and admit that shoe is mine? But my clothes right now are so poor and ugly. <sighs> it's your dream. If you want, just take it. If the prince loves you, he will recognize you. The dress doesn't matter. You're right. I'll try it one more time. Once again, I feel uncomfortable, like I'm about to lose her, just like last time. But as long as she's happy, that's enough. Mm hmm. Prince Jacob, allow me to try on that shoe. I am the girl who wore the shoe last night. Huh? Stop it! How could this poor girl be the gorgeous girl from last night? She doesn't even have that enchanting scent. But I fit the shoe. It's really mine. People with the same foot size are common. Do you want to cheat me? Soldiers, chase her away. <laughs> so the prince only remembers me because of that enchanting scent. Even hmm. though he danced with me, Jacob couldn't remember me among so many Whoa. noble girls. If I want to marry the prince, I must be ready to fight other girls like last night. Especially hmm. when the prince doesn't love the real me. He will change at any moment. How is it going? Did the prince recognize you? Why do you look so sad? Roman, you are right. My desire to marry a prince is futile. True love does not come from enchanting scent, but from ourselves. I will find my own love independent of prophecy or anyone else. That's right, Esther. I'm glad you realized that. Mm. Esther, then... Well, c can we... I, I and you have a chance to be together? <gasps> Alright, let's pretend I never said anything. It's possible. To find out more, I would like to invite you to have dinner at my house. Do you agree? Mm.